So guys, once again, if you can, please subscribe to the channel and please hit the like button on this video. And if you can, let's try and get this to a thousand likes within the next 24 hours. I'll appreciate it. So this next story, a mastermind behind an online fraud shop used to con victims out of more than 100 million pounds has been jailed for more than 13 years after he was arrested next to his £230,000 Lamborghini. TJ Fletcher is 35, bought the Lamborghini, two Range Rovers worth £110,000 and an £11,000 Rolex after making around £2 million from the iSpoof website. He was the founder and leading administrator of the site, which was bought down last year in the UK's biggest fraud sting. The Crown Court today heard that victims across the world were defrauded of at least £100 million, including a minimum of £43 million from people in the UK. The site offered scammers the tools to disguise phone calls to appear to be from a trusted organisation such as a bank so they could empty their target's account. Guys, around last year I mentioned something in a video where I actually got called by my own number and I found it weird. I didn't pick it up but it was my number calling me. So I reckon it was probably to do with this kind of shitty stuff. So it's believed the website earned around £3.2 million in Bitcoin with the lion's share of around £2 million ending up with Fletcher, the prosecutor said. Users of the website paid hundreds of thousands of pounds a month for its features which were marketed on a channel on the encrypted messaging app Telegram called iSpoof Club. Fletcher last month pleaded guilty to four charges including making or supplying an article for use in fraud, encouraging or assisting the commission of an offence, possession of criminal property and transferring criminal property between November the 30th, 2020 and November the 8th, 2022. Judge Sally Cahill Casey jailed him for a total of 13 years and four months today, telling Fletcher for all the victims it was a harrowing experience. Fletcher, it was heard that he rented an East London apartment which boasted views off the Royal Victoria Dock and the city skyline and he owned a £230,000 Lamborghini. As I said, he also spent a lot of money on two Range Rovers for him and his girlfriend, his and hers, as well as police finding a money counter, jewellery and an £11,000 Rolex at his home. According to the Met Police, Icebooth was launched in December 2020 and had 59,000 active users at its peak. The prosecutor said at the time of arrest, Outside his girlfriend's house, Fletcher was evasive about a Lamborghini park nearby. He said that was his Lamborghini and it was subsequently seized and the keys were in his jacket. A Rolex watch was found in the search of his home address and this is the address he wanted to avoid the officers going to. There was a money counter, an item only of use for someone with a lot of cash to count, the prosecutor said. There were two Range Rovers, one in his name and one in the name of his girlfriend, which appears to be paid for by him. And these are high value motor vehicles. He said, prosecutor's on a mud one. So the prosecutor said the Rolex was valued at £11,000 and the Audemars Piguet, the AP, watch was fake. And he went on to say, you can't trust anyone these days. Fucking prosecutor's having a laugh. So one of the site's most purchased bits of technology allowed fraudsters to make phone posing as fraud department employees to lower the guard of unsuspecting recipients. The spoof calls along with other features offered through the site to obtain passwords and PIN codes were all used to empty the victim's bank accounts. The prosecutor said a particularly dastardly exploitation of the people's busy lives was a tool allowing users to trick victims into entering new car details by claiming the information held by a trusted organisation was out of date. One of the platform's victims lost £3 million, while the 4,785 people who reported being targeted to action fraud lost an average of £10,000, the police said. The judge, Sally Cahill, said victims suffered damage to their businesses, personal financial problems, sleeplessness, depression, emotional stress and fallouts with family members. She told Fletcher, who had 18 previous convictions for 36 offences, he didn't care about them, adding, the late expression of remorse is regret for being caught rather than empathy for your victims. His defence said he had told the judge's client had no idea of the scale of the eventual fraud when he set up the website. But she told Fletcher, as is the case with any successful business, you probably didn't realise how successful and profitable your enterprise would be. 
ordering Fletcher to stand for the entirety of the 30-minute sentencing ruling. The judge also told him, you were the founder and leading administrator of the fraud-enabling website called Icepoof. I am told there was an extensive and complicated investigation in which there has been 700 days of work carried out by police officers. This website was something which you suggested was the most sophisticated siphoning platform available. The evidence shows clearly your leading role and your active role for using a sophisticated article for fraud and exploiting that for profit by you. In mitigation, his defence said, I would like to begin with an apology. It is the victims of the fraud to which he owes that apology. It reflects genuine regret and remorse for his actions and he wishes to apologise to the victims of fraud that was perpetuated using the website that he provided. Mr Fletcher does not pretend for a moment that he did not know that fraud was being perpetrated. But he was insulated from the fraud. He did not know who they were or how much money was being extracted. He knew, of course, that there were victims and they suffered as a result of his actions, but they were very much in the abstract and he did not see at the time the misery that would be caused by his website. It was only until recently that he was forced to confront the reality of his actions. So the operation was so big it was stated by the Met Police that almost 20 people every minute of the day were being contacted by scammers hiding behind false identities using the site. The NCA Agency Deputy Director Paul Foster said fraud can have a devastating impact on victims so tackling it is a priority for the NCA and our policing partners. Key to our response is targeting the online platforms that supply offenders with the tools and services they use to commit cyber-enabled fraud. We will continue to target criminal infrastructure and pursue the administrators and users. Protection of victims and their data online is paramount and we are constantly improving our capabilities across law enforcement to help achieve this. The users of Icebooth who had to pay to use its services posed as representatives of banks including Barclays, Santander, HSBC, Lloyds and Halifax pretending to warn of suspicious activity on their accounts. Scammers would encourage the unsuspecting members of the public to disclose security information such as one-time passcodes to obtain their money. The total reported loss from those targeted via Icebooth is £48 million in the UK alone with an average loss believed to be around £10,000. Because fraud is vastly underreported, the full amount is believed to be much higher. In the 12 months until August 2022, around 10 million fraudulent calls were made globally via Icebooth with around 3.5 million of those made in the UK. Of those, 350,000 calls lasted more than one minute and were made to 200,000 individuals. Following our appeals to the public, 340 additional victims have come forward and are now assisting our investigation. It is thought that there are many thousands of other victims. Before it was shut down in November 2022, Icebooth was constantly growing. 700 new users were registering with the site every week and it was earning on average £80,000 per week. At the point of closure, it had 59,000 registered users. The website offered a number of packages for users who would buy in Bitcoin the number of minutes they wanted to use the software to make calls. Icebooth made just over £3 million with Fletcher profiting just around £1.9 million from running and enabling fraudsters to ruin victims' lives. He lived an extravagant lifestyle owning Range Rovers, Lamborghini Uruses. He regularly went on holiday with trips to Jamaica, Malta and Turkey in 2022 alone. Fletcher spent time marketing Icebooth on the Telegram channel, the Icebooth Club and Telegram is an encrypted messaging platform similar to WhatsApp. Fletcher set up the channel to promote Icebooth and would update users and promote updates and developments to the website. After he was arrested in November 2022, Officers searched his home address and found more than 30 mobile phones and a quantity of SIM cards were found and they also found a Rolex, an AP, a fake one and a money counter. As part of the continued inquiry, 169 individuals have now been arrested on suspicion of using ice booth in the UK and they all remain under police investigation. Absolute madness, guys. So what do you think with regards to this story? It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.